Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Supreme Penny Pincher, and uh, something you may know about me is I'm a gamer. I like playing games, but another thing you may know is that I use Linux. I love Linux. I love Arch Linux in particular. Again, all distros are allowed, but Arch is just my personal favorite. And uh, a problem a lot of people have with gaming on Linux is where their games are and how to access them. Uh, specifically, I ran into this problem the other day when I bought Cyberpunk 2077 on GOG and couldn't, did, had no clue how to get it running. My first instinct was to go ahead, open up Lutris, click on Cyberpunk 2077's community installer and hit install. However, upon doing so, after each time it installed, it would not launch. And that is an actual bug with the community installer, not my machine, not anyone's fault. Uh, it's just a bug that's out there. And so I thought to myself, well, fuck, I just spent money on a game and I can't play it. Let me tell you what I ended up doing. So, um, as I'm sure many of you know, Wine is something that people use all the time to run Windows programs in Linux. For example, if I try to boot up Star Wars Battlefront 2 here, it's going to launch it through Lutris's version of Wine. Origin launcher running through Lutris's Wine. So I thought to myself, well, if this works in this way, can I install Battlefront, or sorry, Battlefield 1 while under this version, th this sectioned off Origin launcher? And so I did, and it worked. And so that gave me an idea. There are community installers for Origin, Rockstar, Epic, all these different game launchers, and I thought to myself, I said, doesn't, doesn't good old games have a launcher? And so I got to looking, uh, first of all, went on Lutris, came here and just went GOG, press enter, GOG Galaxy right there. So I installed it, and it didn't run. It booted up to the main menu, the sign-in menu, but would flash white, go back to normal, flash white, and then give me an error message. So I'm like, well, shit. So what I did was I came in here to configure and went to the runner options. It was running on Lutris, basically Lutris's self-made version of wine, and it was not running well. So what did I do? I basically built my own version of wine technically mostly just configured it to where it worked and i'm going to show you today how to do that so if you don't have wine installed you're going to pop open your little terminal here for your arch users you're going to go sudo pacman s wine press enter put in your password if you can type it properly i can't because why couldn't i and uh, you'll hit yes, since you don't have it, uh, but I have it, so I'm gonna hit no. Um, and one other thing you're gonna wanna download is something called Wine Tricks. Again, same thing, pseudo pacman dash s wine tricks. Gonna go ahead and hit enter, hit yes if you don't have it, hit no if you do have it. Now from there, if you do have those, by the way, those will update your, your current versions. I updated mine yesterday, so they should be pretty up to date. But the first thing I did was went into Wine Tricks. Select the default wine prefix. Install a Windows DLL or component. Hit OK, right? Pretty simple. And then I came through here. Now this may be a little hard to see on your end, but here we have D3 D and uh, D3DX11, basically wine run times for DirectX to wine's compatibility layer, which I believe is Vulkan. Um, and you'll see all of these DLLs, I clicked all of them and installed them. The next thing I installed was D9VK, which is a DirectX 9 to Vulkan transition layer. And if I keep looking here, I will should find DKVK, which is <clears throat> sorry, DXVK, which is just flat out direct X uh, to Vulcan. I downloaded that as well as F Audio. And uh, those were the runtimes that I downloaded. 
and you just come down here and hit OK and it'll install them for you. You might have to click a couple things, but that's perfectly fine. Um, and once I did that, I came back over to Lutris, configured my GOG Galaxy, runner options, and reselected my system point uh, 6.23, which uses the version of Wine that you have. Um, so what I did is I hit play. And after a couple seconds of waiting, I'm like, oh, well, I guess this isn't working. Um, eventually, it's going to say play right here again. Basically, I thought it had crashed. If I go ahead and click play on that again, what we'll see is that... Oh, it's launching on my other monitor. Of course, of course it is. What we'll see is that Galaxy of Games boots right up. I can use it just like I would on Windows. Check out the games that I own. Check out the games I have installed, which in this case is only Cyberpunk. And, uh, you know, I could use Activity, Friends, all sorts of stuff. I can even buy things off the store. Uh, but in this case, what I wanted to do was play Cyberpunk. So, I came over to Cyberpunk, right? I like to right-click and hit play. It's so, what that's doing is sometimes it has to sync here and this is an advantage over something like mini galaxy is you can actually sync your games with the, uh, the, the, the the gog cloud you can sync your saves so the next time you install this game you're right up to speed you don't have to transfer any files or anything which is why i personally started using this method for games like ori in the blind forest uh, the Witcher uh, Remaster, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. I've been using this method for all of these. And I'll actually show you when this game boots up, uh, how well it runs. Now, as you can see, we are in Cyberpunk 2077. We are in the game, perfectly fine. An RX 6800 XT and a RX, or sorry, an R7... 5800X and this game still struggles but as you can see we're sitting pretty here at 3440 by 1440p playing cyberpunk relatively at 60 fps on linux i did do a test on my my windows uh build and with the exact same hardware i got the exact same performance the, this is functional gaming under wine and i was very happy that i was able to figure this out because as I started working with this, I was able to play my other GOG games like The Witcher and um, Ori on the Blind Forest. All these games that I was having trouble playing before, are I'm now able to play absolutely no problem whatsoever. But I mean, this has been fun. I, I have been playing this game for about 15 hours. Uh, I think 10 to 15 hours completely through Linux apart from maybe an hour on Windows synced data and everything it has been amazing and i honestly can't complain or give any reasons why i would choose the windows version over this uh, maybe ray tracing but then the game is borderline unplayable so that's my two cents that that is how i was able to get galaxy of games or good old games galaxy running completely independently of any other program on linux um on its own. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope I was able to help you. As you can see right there in the bottom right, synced with GOG Galaxy Cloud. Fucking awesome. Uh, I hope this was able to help you play your, your GOG games and install GOG on your Arch Linux device. I believe the same process works on uh, Debian-based distros. I personally haven't tried. But I've tried on Manjaro, on Arch Linux, um, both of them work perfectly. And honestly, I've had a better gaming experience on Linux after I got that figured out than I did on Windows. Uh, I hope this was able to help you, and you know, if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, I apologize. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like, and uh, you know, stay safe and have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to leave the commands I used in the description along with the community Discord. If you need any help, please feel free to hit me up there.